Hey guys, so I'm here today with my everyday eye makeup routine and um, I'm really excited to show you this. It's using a new palette that I've gotten recently so I'm going to jump right in and get started. So first off, I've already applied this to my eye. It is the Barbie Daily Makeup Long Wear Eyeshadow in Colour Shell which is basically just a cream eyeshadow in, in a champagne colour. And I've already done this eye um, and I'm going to recreate it in this one. Then I'm going to take my MAC Eyeshadow in Orb and I'm going to apply that all over my lid using my Sally's Four Wit brush. And I've also brought it up to the brow bone as well. I've already got the most of my makeup done. Um, I've just got blusher, bronzer and eyeshadow to do. Next I'm going in with my Natural Collection eyeshadow in Milk Chocolate and I'm just going to apply that to the crease with the same brush again. And I'm just using windshield my wiper motions. And that's that done. Next I'm going to go into my new palette that I have to show you. It is the Dior Sky Glow palette which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got lovely taupes, silvers and this baby blue in it. And I'm going to go in with just, it's the dupe of the MAC 217 into this um, sort of taupey bronze shade and I'm going to apply that all over the lid and I'm just patting it on, I'm not really sweeping on. I've been loving this eyeshadow routine recently. Next I'm going in with the dark grey colour and I'm going to apply that just to the outer half and again I'm just tapping that on. Then the brush that I use to apply my crease shade, I'm just going to buff out the edges of the crease and also the edges in the middle of the eye. Just like that and that is basically the eyeshadow done. It's really quick and really easy. Then I'm going to take this Professional Long Lasting Eyeliner by Corez and it's just a black liner that does not budge. So I'm going to apply that to my waterline and upper lash line. And I'm just going to apply it as close to the lashes as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to smudge it out. I haven't been wearing liquid eyeliner as much recently. I've just been loving the look of smudging out a pencil eyeliner on the upper lash line. And with our brush that we used to apply our lid shades, I'm just smudging that just like that. So it really fades it out and makes it a bit more smoky. Then I'm going in with my new mascara, it's the Lancome Hypnos Mascara and it's just the original one and it gives my lashes the most doll-eyed false lash effect. It's amazing. One coat and you're done. If I'm going out I will apply two coats. most amazing mascara ever. I love it. Then once I have the mascara on I'm going to brush away any fallout with my powder brush which I left on my desk. And that's basically the eyes done. So moving on to the face, so I'm just going in with my hula bronzer and applying up the little contours of my cheeks. I'm also bringing it under my jawline and around my temples. I haven't used this bronzer in quite a while actually. I just decided to pull it out today and give it a shot. Then I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Plum Radiance Blush which is sort of more of a neutral plum. It's really really nice and I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks using my Real Techniques Blush Brush. I've been liking quite intense blush and contour recently.
And lastly for highlight, I'm going to go in with my Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm just going to apply it with my contour brush. Just to the tops of my cheekbones. And a little bit of my Cupid's bow. And I'm actually also going to take a small brush and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten them up. I cut a fringe back in again last night because I was getting fed up with my hair. I'm trying to grow it and it's at that stage where it's just really really it's too long to be a bob and it's too no it's yeah it's too long to be a bob but it's too short to be long or medium like hair and it's really really annoying. I'm also bringing that in a little bit as well sort of the inner third of the lid. And then last thing I'm going to apply this lip gloss by it's the Tanya Burr one and it's in the colour Aura. Love these lip glosses because they're so moisturising. They just feel like lip balm. And I will have a oh I'll have a separate review coming up soon. And that is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you all later. Bye guys.